Hey, welcome, or welcome back to Four of Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. What I do know is that in my viewfinder, my head is a very different colour to my chest, which is a bit of an issue when this film is a foundation review. <clears throat> or in this case, a CC cream review. This is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination. Colour Correcting Illuminating Full Coverage Cream with Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum and SPF 50 Physical Sunscreen. You will get flashback. But with this, I have chosen the lightest shade they do. Which is fair light. And still I am appearing at least in my viewfinder, ever so slightly Oompa Loompa-ish. So, if you want to find out exactly how well or otherwise this performs on my oily combo, very nearly 45 year old skin, you're in exactly the right place. Here it comes. Hey, welcome back to the intro. I'll have shown you this in the intro. Probably won't have shown you this because it's not going to look as pristine and white as it does now. Um, been wanting to try some It Cosmetics CC cream for quite a while because I want some options for when it's really hot and I just cannot wear foundation. Um, I've got my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and I've got my Becca Aqualuminous one but I've been wanting to try this because it's got 50 SPF 50 sunscreen in it um, and it has an anti-aging serum as well now I've got the lightest shade that I could which is fair light but I get the nasty feeling it's still going to be too dark for me so I'm using it on a day when I am not outside anywhere um, and I bought it from a QVC because it's the only place in the UK if it doesn't work for you, you can send it back and get your money back. Nowhere else gives you that option. Yes, you are very lucky in America. Please count your chickens. Now, QVC had an offer on where if you bought them together, you got a special price on a brush. And this is that Heavenly Skin number 702 Skin Perfecting Brush which apparently has groundbreaking anti-aging skincare infused brush hair. I'll let that sink in for a minute. Apparently, it pairs perfectly with your skincare, colour infused powders, foundations and all complexion products. Revolutionary It Cosmetics Heavenly Skin Brush Hair is infused with anti-aging collagen silk, niacin and antioxidants. Innovative brush hair technology improves the look of skin immediately upon application for your most beautiful complexion. Custom cut brush head optically blurs and perfects the look of skin, erasing the appearance of lines, pores and imperfections instantly. Cruelty free and pro-hygienic for even the most sensitive skin types. Developed with plastic surgeons and dermatologists, clinically tested, cruelty free, antibacterial, pro-hygienic for all skin types. Directions, buff your favourite skincare and makeup onto skin using circular movements for beautiful skin perfecting results. To extend the life of your brush and ensure your most flawless application, use IT Cosmetics Brush Love once a week to cleanse disinfection condition. I will use my usual brush cleaner. Thank you very much. So, I possibly will keep this container to keep it in because it's a bit bougie. <laughs> okay, so it has heavenly skin. I doubt very much you're going to be able to see that on there. And CC Plus Skin Perfecting number 702 on there. Um, 
has a small silver it there and white bristles for foundation really um, super soft I will say it feels very does my skin look better without putting anything on it does it does it look beautiful now <clears throat> silliness abounds right so the CC plus illumination color correcting illuminating full coverage cream I got this because I am moving away from totally matte foundations etc and because most CC and BB creams are a little bit illuminating anyway and it was the only one that went fair light and not just light and I knew light would be too dark for me because I had swatched that and I'm looking at the French side let's put it around to the English side to make things easy for me uh, it delivers seven products in one full coverage illuminating found full coverage for a CC cream Illuminating foundation, SPF 50 physical sunscreen, that means you're going to get flashback. Brightening colour corrector, hydrating anti-aging serum, pore minimising primer, dark spot corrector, moisturising day cream. Developed with plastic surgeons and dermatologists, clinically corrected, clinically tested even, cruelty free. Directions, apply one to two pumps to clean skin using your favourite IT Cosmetics brush. Can be used as your moisturiser, anti-aging serum, concealer, foundation and sunscreen based on your coverage needs. For best results, apply a smooth even layer to your face, neck and decolletage for complexion perfection. Now, my face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed. The reason I use a separate SPF is because in order to get the protection you need from your SPF, you need to pretty much use a teaspoonful. If I put a teaspoonful of this on my skin, it is going to be cake city. But I do appreciate the fact it has got additional SPF in it, because I will admit I don't top up my SPF during the day. Bad girl. Nikki Raven will tell me off. So, it's a tube with a pump. Uh, I'm looking at that. I have a nasty feeling it is going to be too dark for me, but hopefully, where it's a C, do you need to shake these? I don't know, I feel like I should. Um, hopefully this will be, it doesn't say to shake it, but I have anyway. You actually get over the one fluid ounce, you get 32 mils on 1.08 fluid ounces. So. Whoa, okay, that was there instantly. Fair dues. Uh, so that's two pumps. Let's put the cap back on. Uh, it is a very stiff formula. And uh, I think it's going to be too dark. Let's see, shall we? Let's get you zoomed in a little bit so you can see what's happening. Now obviously I have done my eyes already, that's a completely different film, so let's, oh lord this is definitely going to be too dark isn't it, wow you can smell the sunscreen in this, it literally honks of sun, sunscreen, it smells just like pure sunscreen that you're putting on your face, effectively, I suppose at 50 SPF you are putting pure sunscreen on your face aren't you? I'm just dotting this randomly like I'm a pixelated person. All over. Uh, just wipe my finger off there a little bit. Let's wipe it off the top of the chin. There we go. So let's try this beauteous brush. Um, normally I do one side with a brush and one side with a sponge, but. As they are hailing this brush so much, and it is sold with the cream and the directions do say use a brush, not a sponge. So I'm gonna be a good oh lord, this is too dark. I'm gonna be a good girl for once and do as I'm told and use a brush.
it's definitely shiny. Sorry, illuminating. It does feel very moisturising as you put it on, I will say. Uh, let me get my little mirror so I can actually see what's happening. Uh, I do believe it is a tad too dark for me, but... I think if I blend it down my neck, I can possibly get away with it if I don't bronze up too much today. Yeah, it really stinks of sun cream. If you don't like the smell of sun cream, you are not going to like the smell of this. I know with CC creams you don't expect a huge coverage, but this claimed to be full coverage, didn't it? I don't call this full coverage at all. Um, I can still see a couple of little... Let's zoom you in a bit. I can still see a couple of red spots there. There. The hyperpigmentation I've got here is still showing. Uh, some of the redness on my nose is still there. Alright, let's zoom back out again. Let's see. We can build this. I've just picked them up directly on the brush. Just gonna tap it onto the places where I would normally add more coverage. adding a fraction more on the nose. Long term viewers will know my nose and foundation are like magnets of opposite polarity. They reject each other very very quickly. Um, so to get anything to stay on my nose is an absolute bloody miracle. Um, and this is a lot more illuminating than I was expecting. Um, I was not expecting to be quite so, I've been dunked in chip fat, look, I mean this really is, wow, um, don't get me wrong, I like to shine when it comes to highlight, but uh, I like to shine in areas that I put the shine, this is, maybe as this sort of like dries down it'll become a bit less uh, shiny. I feel like I should add a little bit to my ears because uh, they're going to look a little bit white and spiteful otherwise. Okay. The brush is very soft. Um, I'm having quite a bad day fibro wise. My skin is very, very sensitive. Um, but you can see it does soak up a fair amount of the product. Let's try wiping this. I need to get a clean. Need to get the clean cloth. There we go. Just going to wipe this off on one of my cloths, like I always do with any of my foundation brushes. I always wipe them off on a cloth first so that 
um, when I then give them the deep clean at the end of the week, it's not as difficult a task. So, um, that is a super, super soft brush, I will say. Uh, really has gone on uh, quite nicely, actually. It didn't, didn't stress my skin out at all. Um, and I've still got probably half a pump to a pump still on there. Uh, I've probably in the summer would we'll just wear the one pump. Um, let's add some concealer over the top. Uh, a little bit of Jeffrey, let's zoom you in a little bit. Okay. I'm also going to get my uh, Conceal and Correct from Revolution, which is the peach one that I use first to neutralise the horrifically dark circles that I have. Um, I always do my concealer with a brush, I always have done. Um, I have tried doing it with a sponge, cannot get on with it, even with the mini sponges. Much prefer using brush like this. Okay, this is um, shade C3 and uh, Jeffrey has said that I like the way this is angled to get right up in here and you can then just sweep across although if you have kind of movie skin like me you sometimes get it like that um, although you only get three and a half mils in this there is skin care in this as well it's going to be one of those days folks bear with I'm going to get that. I'm back. One of the issues that I struggle with with fibro is that I get uh, pain twitches, which, when you're trying to pick something up, can be very bloody annoying. So, as I was saying, or trying to, this does have skincare properties in it too which I'm guessing is why it's as expensive as it is in relation to cost per gram or mil or whatever um, you know the majority of the concealers that you buy are somewhere between seven and ten Mills. Um, I've got a couple of four mil ones, but the majority are, you know, pretty much double what you get here. But it's got skincare ingredients in it, so I'm guessing that's what, in his mind, just justifies the price. Um, I mean, that's certainly applied absolutely fine no problems at all let's zoom you back out again uh, just pop that back away in its box I always keep concealers and foundations either in boxes or in um, some kind of storage that keeps them out of UV light because that can affect Please excuse my neighbours, uh, apparently having yet another row.
Right, I always use Coty Airspun, translucent extra coverage. And this is a Morphe G38, which I bought because Taylor from that Taylor used it on her under eyes and said it was the absolute best brush ever. And then Morphe stopped making it. But I still use it because I still like it. Yeah, this is absolutely not setting down. So where I have oily combo skin, I am most definitely having to set it to the point that this brush is getting damp. Um, I use this dense brush on my under eyes to push it into my nose to try and help my nose hold on to coverage for as long as possible and also into fine lines. And then go in with a super fluffy brush to set the rest of my face. I know what you're thinking, that's an illumination cream. What are you using a matte powder for? Well, if I don't powder it, I can promise you in an hour there'll be nothing left on my face. This is actually starting to look more my colour now I've kind of powdered it, so perhaps I will be able to get away with this in the summer. That'll be good. I don't tan, I, I stay this, I don't need summer foundations and winter foundations in terms of colour. I have summer foundations and winter foundations in terms of um, how light they are and how well they'll stay on my skin when I'm having a sweat fest. Yeah. So that powdered down fine. It still feels a, a little bit sticky, which is interesting. Right, going in with my butter bronzer to see how things blend on top. Uh, this is a Coastal Scents brush. I think it was a blush brush, but I like using it for my bronzer. I basically bronze the areas that most people contour because I don't really contour that much, to be honest. I just... I'm lucky I've got quite pronounced cheekbones anyway. So I don't need to sort of add shading to make them stand out. I just want to warm my face up a little bit because, you know, pale as a pint of milk over here. I also do it along my jawline just to help minimise Mr. Chin down here. Yeah, that's... Not blending out as easily as it usually does on my cheeks. It's taking a little bit of extra work. So that's interesting. Now, I'm trying to use up this. I bought this oh, about three years ago now. Tarte Exposed. Still got a crap ton left. But it's now gone so dry that you struggle to get any pigment off of it. So, because I'm not going to waste it, I just really lightly scuff over the surface with an old um, spoolie so that I have loose pigment to pick up. That is a tip for you if you have a blush that's got a bit... I've got the phone call, hang on. Sorry about that. Friend needed an urgent chat, so whilst chatting I did put my blusher on. Um, it went on absolutely fine, didn't stick or grab anywhere, so, uh, yeah, I might just, because that bronzer went on quite 
drawer. Um, I've been using, this is a tip I picked up from Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. She uses this Wet n Wild colour icon bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana as like a finishing powder. Okay, my lights have completely blurred that out. There we go. So, big old fluffy brush. Um, and I just literally dust this all over. And it just sort of, it just helps blend everything together and if my bronze has gone a bit chunky, it just helps to smooth it out a bit. It, it's, it kind of acts the same way that the Hourglass Ambient powders do in terms of sort of, you know, finishing things off. And it's especially good when I am using one of my matte foundations because I'm not going to throw them away, I'm going to use them up, I spent my money on them. Um, it kind of gets rid of that flat matte look and gives you the, the look of skin back. So, so far, there we go. Uh, current time is half past 12. So that's my check-in time. Fridge is currently defrosting itself. Um, I will come back when the rest of my face is finished so we can see how it's looking. See you then. And I am back. Uh, the highlighter that I used was the Nikki Ofra Space Baby. Hence the, the kind of blue shift as I turn my head. And we've got this little flash of blue. Um, the lippy is uh, Revolution Prime, which is the dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Uh, it's one o'clock. This has been on about half an hour. Obviously, it still looks absolutely fine. Um, no settling into fine lines or hulk. Still looking nice and fresh under the eyes. No initial caking around here, which can happen in the first half hour with me. Uh, chin still looking good. So yeah, as you would expect for half an hour. Still looks cool. Now, I have many films I need to go and edit and create thumbnails for and upload and tag and all oh, that fun stuff, which is not the fun stuff. This is the fun stuff. Filming it is the fun stuff. Doing the editing, not so fun. I can understand why bigger YouTubers have someone to do it for them. So, um, I will see you in about four or five hours. You will see me instantly. Hey, back for the first check-in. It is just gone six o'clock. So this has been on just over five and a half hours. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel or who have not seen any of my previous foundation reviews, I don't do anything to my face during the day. I might top my lippy up, which, as you can see, clearly I haven't. Um, but I don't repowder. I don't blot excess oils away. Um, I don't respritz. Oh, excuse me. Early morning. Harvey was on an early, so the alarm went off at quarter to five this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, I have not done anything to my face, either to help or to hinder what is happening here. Um, I am struggling with pain, so I've stuck my hair up in a kind of a scrappy pony type thing because I was getting hot with pain. Um, I'm probably going to go and have a bit of a lie down in a minute, so uh, we may find that we have to ignore this side of my face because it may be a little bit smudged when I come back for the final check-in. However, this is the first check-in. Uh, so while I can hopefully stop yawning, let's zoom in, see what's been happening.
I'll bring you in as close as my camera can do, as you can see. Uh, no splitting or settling yet in those tram lines. Nothing major in the hulk yet either. Under eyes are still looking absolutely fine, they're not going to scale you or anything. Oh, sorry. Starting to cake just a tad around the edge here. And around there. And I've lost a little bit of coverage on my nose, but it, it's hay fever season, it's, it's understandable really. Top lip still there, you can see. I still have my highlight. Chin still looking okay. Side to my face, fine. Um, I did say to Hubby when he came in, does this look the wrong shade? And he came super close, bless his heart, and went, I think maybe a little bit. Just maybe like one. I am so sorry. Maybe like one shade too dark, he said. It's not as bad as that one that you put on that kept oxidising and you ended up looking orange like Oompa Loompa or Donald Trump's half-sister. <clears throat> so, um, I think if this wears well, I may mix this with... Um, I've got over here somewhere, just trying to find it, groping around randomly. Um, I've got some foundations that I had to get, oh I can't find it now. I've got a foundation back there that I had to get a mixer for, it was the, um, was it the LA Girl Illuminating one? I don't know, but I know that the mixer itself is an illuminating mixer as well, so I will be able to use this. Oh. I'm so sorry, this is what happens when my pain shoots high, my body goes, it's time to shut down. So I'm going to listen to my body. I'm going to go and lie down for a couple of hours and uh, I will see you in a few hours time. Hopefully, not yawning. Uh, you, however, will see me once again, instantly. Hey! Welcome back to the final check in This is definitely the wrong colour. Uh, <laughs> thankfully the uh, LED lights are kind of causing a wee bit of a flashback so it's not quite so obvious but let me turn these lights off. Can you see how much darker my face is to my chest? Hmm. Yes. Right. It is nearly 11 o'clock at night. Um, I did go for a lay down to try and ease the pain a bit. I was laying on this side, so... I have been up since quarter five this morning. So let's zoom in and see how this is looking after ten and a half hours on my face. Yeah. It's quite a funny hubby came in and looked at me and we were chatting away and he suddenly went, Have you got purple eyebrows? <laughs> okay, still no settling in there. The Hulk is just starting to settle, as you can see. Um, the under eye still looks really, really hydrated, actually. I don't know if that's the Jeffree Star concealer or whether it's the it cosmetics underneath it. We shall see. Still got that caking around the nose there and around that side. Um, my nose is sore where I've been doing this all day. <laughs> have lost a fair amount on my top lip, but we did have pasta for tea, so... Um, 
still got my highlight on my chin, so that's not too bad. Uh, even though I laid down, I've still got highlight this side. Look at that. And bronzer. And blush. No, the same here, so that shows you how ham I must have gone with those today. Right. So, what are my thoughts on this? Um, for an illuminating CC cream, I was really surprised at how well it covered after I built it up. Um, and how well it's lasted. It's only really caked around the edges of my nose there and sort of top lip. Um, other areas seem to still look fine, which is really quite astounding on my skin with this. Um, my only issue is this is fair light and it's still too dark for me. Now Part of me is like, but it does look really good, and it has got SPF 50 in it. And I do have an illuminating white mixer that I could mix in with this. Um, I might try that tomorrow, mixing this in with the white mixer. And maybe not tomorrow, I have to go and do some shopping. I'll put a normal foundation on tomorrow that I know matches me. Um, next time I've got a day where I haven't got to go anywhere. I'm really sorry I've been yawning at you. Oh, chronic pain and early morning starts. Not a good combination. Bad day to choose to do a uh, foundation review, but, you know, bad decisions. Let's uh, chalk me up for those. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this another go on a day when I'm not going out. I'll mix the white... Uh, illuminating mixing. Pretty sure it's LA Girl. Uh, it's LA something. It definitely starts off LA. I don't know. Is it LA Girl? Might not be. Possibly isn't. Fibro Fog. Fabulous. But I am very tired. Oh. Right, okay. Oily combo skin. A week away from being 45. This lasted ridiculously well. Uh, if you can get it in your shade, then I'd say it's a good one. But not if you're going to go anywhere that does flash photography, because you are going to get flashback. Because of the fact it has a physical SPF in there, not a um, chemical SPF. So... It's kind of a, I'm on the fence, I kind of cut like the hollow bit there, I'm, I'm playing with it, can you tell? Um, God, I'm like a cat with a bloody laser beam on I? Mm, sorry, put it down. Um, I'm torn. Um, I really like how it wore on my skin, I like the coverage. Um, the sunscreen smell disappeared quite quickly. Uh, it felt super light on my face. Uh, doesn't even seem to have moved much when I was laying down earlier, so that's good. But it's the... Do I really want to mix a lightener in with this every single time I use it? Um, I think I will... I'll try this with a mixer, and if it still wears this well, I'll probably keep it. If not, I'll send it back. Because um, it's clearly too dark for me to wear at the moment. So, on that kind of not sure if it's good, not sure if it's bad note, that is where we end today's foundation review. I need to take this off. I need a big glass of water. And clearly, I need to go to bed. I am so sorry, folks. I do apologize. I have many other films where I'm not yawning at you, I promise. If you don't believe me, there's, there's plenty in my playlist. Please go check. 
uh, maybe avoid the foundation reviews because I think there's a couple of those I am like this at the end of it so I think it's the Welsh in me uh, maybe I've got some Italian somewhere I'm very put your hands down hmm. all right um, please check you're still subscribed because YouTube are unsubscribing people please check if you'd rung the bell that it is still rung and that it has still chosen all notifications and now as ever all that remains for me to go on <sighs> for me to say is <laughs> you'll stay fabulous and I'll see you next time Bye for now. Thank goodness I got through the end of that without having to yawn again. <laughs> See you soon. Mm -hmm.